tail of the tape for this lightweight fight. Tavares, 26 years old. Fisher, nine years his elder. Tiago Tavares will have a two-inch reach advantage. Once again, here's Bruce Buffer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mark Goddard. Mark Goddard will be our referee for this lightweight matchup. Tiago Tavares against Spencer the King Fisher. And we are underway. White trunks for the Brazilian. Great trunks for the American. Head kick early. Tavares slipped. Spencer's southpaw. Tiago Tavares did the right kick there, trying to go upstairs with his right leg. Spencer's UFC career dates all the way back to October of 2005 when he defeated Tiago Alves by a triangle choke submission in his UFC debut. Big takedown by Tavares. Spencer staying very calm here. Nice takedown by Tavares. Nice drive all the way through on the takedown. Spencer pinning his back up against the fence. And what it does, it doesn't allow Tavares to get around to his back. And he can wall walk his shoulders back to his feet. Fisher, an old school Militich fighter, trained with the likes of UFC Hall of Famer Matt Hughes for many years. Also former champion Jens Pulver. Tonight he faces off against the Brazilian here in Rio. Had those great battles, did Fisher with Sam Stout. In fact, for the first fight, Spencer actually stepped in on short notice, Kenny, in a fight that you were supposed to have at that point against the Canadian. Exactly, exactly. I went out with a back injury. Spencer Fisher came in, and uh, what a fight they had. Absolute war. Spencer's a guy who never shot a throw down and scrap with an opponent, and he's really evolved his game to really incorporate some good throws, some good jiu-jitsu. He's really been working on his jiu-jitsu a lot recently with... Carlos Lemos in Chicago. He'll drive an hour and a half to get that training. He'll go wherever it takes to improve. Whether he's flying to Thailand or just a, a guy who really just wants to improve as a martial artist and he loves to fight. Excellent competitor. Tavares really trying to get that hip control of Spencer Fisher. He keeps backing up towards the fence, hoping to wall walk right in front of our broadcast position. Just about to the midway point of this first round. Tavares is doing a very good job of controlling Spencer, not allowing him to get back to his feet. Controlling the round here. Not really getting big strikes with his grounder pound, but he is being effective. He's being annoying and he's not allowing Spencer to really base up and get back to his feet. The referee says that he wants more action and stands him up. A little blood on the right cheek of Tiago Tavares, head kick. Spencer kept that left hand posted nicely. And again, Tavares is looking for the knockout kick. Spencer really used to have very, very sharp boxing. Really wasn't much of a kicker back in the day, but he's really incorporated a lot of good kicks into his game. Seems to he's moving to the right side. He's just not really getting off in his punches. And that's probably because he respects the takedown game of Thiago Tavares. And when you have a guy who can really mix it up like a Tavares, although you may have the better striking game, it can really shut you down and cause you to really doubt your striking skills. And Spencer really just kind of needs to get off on his take on his on his striking and not really worry about Tavares takedowns at this point and just let it flow out there. Tavares, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Who had not gone to a decision when he made his UFC debut back in 2007. Fighting for the 11th time in his UFC career. Looking for his 20th MMA victory is the Brazilian. Tavares is coming off a, a, a brutal loss to Shane Roller. It's a devastating knockout. And here you can see his strategy was definitely not to stand up and strike with Spencer Fisher, who's very heavy-handed himself. Decides to really utilize a, a ground strategy of taking him down up against the fence, controlling Spencer, and taking that steam away and that speed of Spencer Fisher. 
Tavares looked very good before the end of that roller fight and was outstanding in Indianapolis against Pat Audenwood. Now he's got the back of Spencer Fisher. Trying to get those legs in position. Tavares looks great here, really getting good position on Spencer. Not allowing him to really get anything going, whether it's on the feet or on the ground. He's just shutting Spencer down here. Very smothering first round by Tiago Tavares. Absolutely. You all right? Water's right, right here. Watch your breathe. Perfect. You won the round. It was all yours. Breathe. The round is yours. You won the first round. <coughs> Perfect, Chad. Keep doing the same thing. Stop kicking. He's attacking. You kick his leg. You take control. Take control. Do not go down. So interesting. Tavares' corner says, stop kicking. And Fisher's corner says, don't go down. <laughs> Which many times we see is the result of a kick is your opponent able to utilize you being on that one leg for a second and shoot for the takedown and there's a kick right away and another <laughs> and he ducks under good hips by Spencer can he stay up though nice level change from Tavares if he can lock his hands here he can get the takedown he's a little high but he still may have enough leverage to get the hips of Spencer here and he does big takedown by Tavares early part of round two he's fighting a very smart fight really taking away any momentum from spencer that he could create with his striking just not letting him get off on his punches and we wondered what the game plan would be coming into this fight against fisher who was so well rounded but we can see exactly what it is take him down control him and then beat him up it's smart. I mean, he's got the advantage. He has the experience factor when it comes to the ground game. He's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Spencer has been improving that aspect, but he's just not at the level of Tiago Tavares just yet. Tiago, a big 55, too. Really is. Always comes in shape. Looks uh, eerily similar to Vitor Belfort, who's right next to us. Yes. One, two, three left hands. And now some right elbows. He's just kind of chipping away at Spencer, not looking for big shots. A lot of guys will try to go for big shots, miss, and allow his opponents to get up. Thiago is finding a very nice balance of controlling his opponent, but at the same time chipping away and being effective with his strikes. Not really landing big shots that's going to hurt Spencer, but he is landing points, he's making points, and frustrating Spencer when he's on his back. Let's progress, guys. You want that position improved. You want to stay there, you got to work. Continuing to pressure and continuing to try to chip away, as Kenny said, is Tavares. Again, there you go. A couple of light swings to the axe. But, but continuous. Sooner or later, the tree falls. Spencer is in a butterfly guard position. He needs to be able to elevate Tiago's hips and get him up and, up and over his hips so he can get back to his feet. He's kind of just keeping his legs in there. Tavares is squeezing his knees, trying to take away that leverage. And he has his arm trapped. He's got a cross wrist there up against the fence, and that could really mean problems for Spencer Fisher. And he yeah, has his back. He's knocked out. out. Looking to finish it here. Now Tiago can start to land some big shots. And he is. All over Spencer Fisher. He looks up at the ref, says, I'm fine for now. But Tavares is in a great spot. Got the back again. They may stop this fight right here, Mike. Trying to tee off on the king. Gained himself this top position, and it is all over! Tiago Tavares wins here in Rio! They are on their feet! 
here at the HSBC Arena, the Brazilian, the victor. Once he gained this position, Kenny, this was the beginning of the end. He was very methodical. He was determined to execute his strategy, and it was all ground. He knew that's where he was going to have the advantage. He secured a beautiful cross wrist up against the fence, got that mount position, and then you saw him unload. Once he had that dominant position, he really went with the strikes and knew Spencer was hurt, smelled the blood, and went for the finish. Tiago Tavares with a dominant performance in victory tonight over Spencer Fisher. And what a great reaction by the young man born and raised in Florianopolis, Brazil. Tiago Tavares with the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard is called to stop to this contest at two minutes, 51 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO Tiago Tavares. Tavares the winner by TKO. Here is Kenny Florian. Thiago, congratulations. You know, how does it feel to get a win here in Rio and a win over a true veteran in Spencer Fisher? No, no, no. Come on. Today, I feel too happy. I want to say thank you for God, for Dana White, the, the Fertitta brothers. I want to say hello, Floripa. Thiago Tavares is here. Marezinho. Can I agradecer a todos meus amigos do Giga, Kelson. Deu, Nazareno, papai, eu amo vocês. Isso aqui é prazer de botar Deus. Te amo, meu pai. Tudo nosso. Muito obrigado, Alex Davis. Deu tudo a você. Muito obrigado. Thiago, what do you want next? You had a beautiful win here. What's next? I just want Joey Silva put me fight, fight soon. Because sometimes I fight like a six months without fights, no? I want to fight soon in two months. Agora em português. Eu só pedi uma luta. Eu só pedi uma luta logo, gente, porque ele me bota para lutar cada seis meses. E, pô, eu tenho que lutar, man. manter o ritmo, né, pessoal? Amo vocês, muito obrigado. É pra vocês, hein? Thiago Tavares, congratulations.